USS Hornet, CV-8 Wasn't just another ship in the US Navy during World War II. This Yorktown-class carrier, commissioned in 1941, etched its name in history through daring raids, pivotal battles, and a tragic but honorable end. Launched in 1940, the Hornet entered service just months before the attack on Pearl Harbor. Early in the war, in April 1942, the Hornet took center stage in a morale-boosting operation, the Doolittle Raid. With a shortened launch distance, 16 B-25 bombers lumbered off the Hornet's deck on a mission to bomb Tokyo and other Japanese cities. This audacious attack, led by Lt. Col. Jimmy Doolittle, showed the U.S. could strike back at the heart of Japan. The Hornet's next major engagement was the pivotal Battle of Midway in June 1942. Here, alongside the USS Enterprise and USS Yorktown, the Hornet's aircraft squadrons launched devastating attacks on the Japanese fleet, sinking four carriers and turning the tide of the Pacific War. The Hornet continued to fight valiantly in the Solomon Islands campaign, including the Binfaisi Tonalai raid. Tragically, in October 1942, during the Battle of the Santa Cruz Islands, the Hornet was heavily damaged by Japanese aircraft. Despite the crew's heroic efforts to save her, the Hornet succumbed to the damage and was sunk. The Hornet holds the distinction of being the last American fleet carrier sunk by enemy fire in World War II. Though lost at sea, the Hornet's legacy lives on. The USS Hornet Museum, its namesake, is docked in Alameda, California. Here, visitors can explore the ship's history, learn about its courageous crew, and honor the role it played in securing Allied victory. The USS Hornet, CV-8, serves as a powerful reminder of American bravery, sacrifice, and innovation during World War II.